TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials up 286, NASDAQ up 114, S&P's up 36, gold contract down $18.30, trading at 1505 an ounce. You get silver down 67 cents, $16.85 an ounce. Light sweet crude, caught a bid, up 138, $56.25 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year down 16 ticks, 130.13, 30-year off a point and a half at 164.05. King dollar, King dollar, 223 ticks, trading 98,230. The euro is at 110, the yen is at 106 and a quarter, and the pound is out here at 121 to one US dollar. Now, we get over and look at the S&P, you're going to see something that's anemic, folks. No doubt, they get the bounce going, but this thing is a contracting on volume in an incredible way. Um, Friday, uh, bottom line, you did 85 million shares. That's after coming down with 135 million. Today, you're at 33 million. Uh, so the bottom line, yeah, you might get 50 million in there, but bottom line, that is anemic in a huge way. Inside the NYSE, it's going to be one of the lightest volume days out here of the year. Right now, you're at 400 million. Inside the composite, and the composite is going to be important because the composite is much stronger than the S&P or the Dow Industrials. And the composite is still showing that that is going to also contract on volume. We're at 1.3 billion right now. If we take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, three Qs are setting up. You get 16 million shares. This is also anemic. The 16 million is going at the 40 million. And on Friday, we did 34 million. So you can see this correlation. Uh, the bottom line is that they have price going, but yet you don't have volume. You don't have real buyers going. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract down $17.80. You are trading out here at 15.05. That is going after the lows that were established out here last Tuesday. Uh, once again, you're pulling back with 282,000 contracts versus 617. So the bottom line is that that's a pullback with light volume. We get over to go the king of bond market, what you have inside the bond market. That has rejected lower price once again. You get tremendously lighter volume inside the 10 as well as the 30. Uh, 10 out here today has done 1.1 million contracts. You're going into 2.1. We hit a high last week of 2.7. So you get a lot of moving parts out here, but uh, just to break it down, you get the Dow, NASDAQ, S&P is going higher, volume contracting. You get the bonds moving lower, volume contracting. Metals moving lower, volume contracting. What does that say? That's saying that S&Ps want lower price, bonds want higher price, metals want higher price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.